G'day and welcome back for more Survival Unlikely. Capac, this view is ridiculous with your giant piston contraption. Oh, it's it's fine. What? I do you want to keep it or do you want to get rid of it? Uh, I like it. You I'm, do? Am I going to need it for more mining? Well, so here's the thing. We've. I think we should go back down to Mars and see how much platinum we've gotten from there. What? Well, back to Mars? Well, because that's where the platinum's being refined, Kabak. It is? Yes. I thought we were refining it up here. As well. But the majority is being done down on Mars. Right. So if we were to go back down there and collect how much is, however much is there, we'd know whether we're going to have enough for a shield for the agglomeration yet. Uh, well... How much do we have here? Uh, that's a good question. So we have 954 kilograms of platinum. Okay. Uh, for the shield, I think we need 400 field emitters. Uh, do we have any field emitters already on board that we've made already? Four field emitters is 3,200 kilograms of ingots. Yeah, but do do we have any already? Uh, I don't think so. We may have some down on the planet, though. Um, so how? So the planet that we have, how many can we make? How how many could we make? Yeah. Uh, about one hundred and fifty. What did you say? We need four hundred. I think so. You've got the thing on here. How many does it say you need? Yeah, four hundred field emitters. To build the ship shield emitter. Right. So, but remember, this has not been producing as much as Mars will have. Mars has got a lot more refineries running. Um, That's well, why I'm thinking there's a decent chance we might actually have enough. And we could put the shield on the agglomeration instead of the bitter pill, or we could put it on the bitter pill if you would prefer it on there. But then if it's on the bitter pill, the bitter pill is going to have to go into battle if the agglomeration is threatened. So we need 800. Yeah, but it would be nice to get one of them shielded to start off with, wouldn't it? Sure. And so I was thinking the agglomeration would probably be the better one to shield up, because then while everything's connected, everything can be in that bubble. Because it's got the most power production. Well, hmm. And then we can start working on little bits and pieces around here. We can start making the agglomeration more like home. Wait, can we retrieve it once it's been built? The... The, like the, the field emitters and stuff because then the best thing to do would be to go down to Mars, build it onto the bitter pill and fire the bitter pill up and then disassemble it and yep. build it on the agglomeration. So yeah, we don't lose the parts. Yeah, because then we're safe transporting it or safer transporting it on the way back up. Yeah, that's a fair point. Because the last thing we want to do is get like halfway back and then get exploded. Okay, so let's take the platinum with us then down in the bitter pill. So maybe, should we lose your piston stack, then? Uh, aren't we gonna need it to dig up some more stuff? Uh, no, because remember, down on Mars we've got the thing. The miner. Um... Which maybe we want to bring back with us. Hmm. Or maybe we want to build a dedicated miner, since I don't have a ship anymore, so I'll be riding with you in the bitter pill anyway. Uh, you can, you can use the Capactron. No. <laughs> I am not being responsible for crashing the Capac drone. That's not happening. Yeah, that's pretty crashed already. He's not the man he used to be. Yes. Um, yeah, I guess we could remove the drill. I don't know, do you, do you think it was in the best spot anyway, since you couldn't thrust with it in that position? Um, oh yeah, we burned off the, the end, didn't we? Yeah. Um... Yeah, I guess that's true, but I don't want to have to rebuild the whole thing. No, no, no. Like, I, I literally don't have a ship anymore, so... What I want to build is something that's a small grid combat ship that is also capable of Atmo to space transit so that I can be a proper multi-use fighter and cargo hauler. Uh, sure. So that I could... With this thing, I'd be potentially able to fly down to Mars and collect the platinum instead of the bit of, bit of pill doing the whole trip. Um, sure. That's that's kind of the uh, the concept I had in mind. Um, I guess 
Well, that still doesn't really leave us with a miner for Europa, but maybe you could design a miner to fly on to that's attached to your bit of pill instead of a, a piston rig. Um, I guess I can make like a small grid miner. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Something that's detachable. You know, remember how you used to have a ship that was attached to your bit of pill? Hmm. Remember how well that went? Huh? What ship? <laughs> that was the first thing that was attached to it. Remember? Oh, it had that? the atmospheric one <laughs> that yeah. I painstakingly salvaged and then got exploded. Numerous times. Yes. What the oh, we need the gold that's up here as well to make all of the field emitters too. Well, add it to the white list. Uh, no, no, we need to take it with the bitter pill because we're going to manufacture everything down on Mars, oh. you were saying. What have you done? What? You put these parachutes on sideways. Yeah, so you can access them. But now the parachute will come out the wrong way. Well, did you want it attached to the side of the thruster instead? Uh, if it still works, I guess it's fine. If I could just do this. But we need some canvas. Probably not that much canvas. There you go. That better? Or would you just like them stuck on top of the cargo containers? Uh, it's fine. As long as they work. You've already corrupted my pill with your so-called practicality. I, I was thinking we could get rid of that as soon as possible so that you can go back to designing it how you see fit. It was just a temporary necessity. So when we return to the agglomination, you can work on the pill, I'll work on my new ship. We can both do some work on the agglomination and make it feel more homey. I, I feel like it, it needs some love. It hasn't had any love in a long time. And with, with the ship we've got attached to the bottom, we've got plenty of resources to give it some love. Plus, we need to figure out where we're going to attach the ship on the bottom. Do we have everything we need? Uh, we've got everything we've got, so I guess so. We'll just have to... See how we go. I just, I, I honestly, I just think, feel like it's time to check on Mars and see how it's at. Um, do you want me to grind off these things on the back, the connectors, so you can have a differently? Uh, yeah, I guess they're kind of pointless now. Yeah. Although, uh, maybe rebuild the connector on one of those cargo containers for when we need to reattach. Uh oh. Uh, there's a tunnel drone coming. Oh jeez. Um, come back. We're gonna have to fight that because you're not connected anymore. Oh, good. All right, we're gonna go fight it. Wait, you got? Oh, jeez. Oh, hang on. I'm carrying stuff. That might be valuable. Are all your guns on or are they off? Don't know. Oh, great. Whoa. Turrets are on. Does the tunnel drone have guns? Um, hasn't shot me. There's a Reva Heavy Corvette here too. Uh, it's got big drills on it. Oh, and a missile launcher. I've blown up its missile launcher. What? Is that you? Yep. Uh, it's got a Gatling gun underneath, too. There we go. It's detoothed. There we go. It's dead. Oh, yeah, that heavy Corvette's coming in. Yep, let's get out of here. We need to rebuild your... I forgot. We shouldn't have detached you yet. We need to connect you up so we can jump. Oh, yeah. We, we are pretty far away. Yeah. Do you want to connect around both? <laughs> yeah, just one is fine for now. Alright, I'm gonna... Uh... Head into the cockpit of the agglomination. You locked? Uh, not quite. Locked. And I am in my control seat. Alright. The Reva is 4.2 kilometers away. Do you have a GPS for the Mars base? Uh, I've got Mickey Scrap here. Capac 1 and Platinum 1. I think that was one of the earlier Platinums we found though. Uh, also, uh, turn turrets off again, please. Jumping. I can see that. <laughs> Goodbye, heavy corvette. Hopefully see you never. 
Yeah, we have to wait for the jump drive to charge. Yeah, we're still 240 kilometers away. Yep. Shall we have a look at this um, appendage and see where we might want to put it? Space Pirate Salvage Station. Uh oh. I just saw a Mayday over here as well. Yeah, the salvage station's likely to send drones. So I'm going to put us on the move, I think. Uh, so, the ship on the bottom. Where do you think we should attach it? Properly. Um, well, I don't think we're going to be taking the agglomeration back into atmosphere. So no. we could remove these two big thrusters on the side and, and put it on the side here because there aren't any hydrogen thrusters along this side. Um, do you want to do you want to keep spreading out as a level or do you want to go more vertical sp spread? Um, well, that just seems like the only place it doesn't already have thrusters. and. Stuff. Yeah, but we could stick it on the bottom. Like, it doesn't have to be on the side. Like, everything's very kind of flat at the moment. Do we want to continue... Do we want to make it more flat, or do we want to make it more vertical? Um, like, don't just think about where thrust is, because we can move the thrusters. That doesn't matter. Well, I guess we could put it off this forward... Attach it to, like, here. Underneath? Yeah. Yeah, because then we can put some stairs inside, and we can have a bit more verticality to the inside, rather than it all being quite flat, which it is at the moment. Because we built it all on a nice lake. I don't know if we can do it when we're traveling at this kind of speed, though. Uh, we should be able to. I wasn't suggesting that we would. So I guess we just kind of merge block it on and then fill in the gaps. Yep. However we do it. So kind of sticking under the purple part, is that what you were thinking? Yep. Yeah. Ah, this is a good way to orient it, because you've got lots of thrust in this direction, so that'll be lots of reverse thrust for the agglomeration. Uh... I was going to spin it around. No, just do it this way. Oh, this this thing's such a mess, we're going to end up probably modifying it quite heavily anyway. I see a mayday. Ah, don't worry about them. Just kind of stopped. No, you are getting much closer. You're getting close. You're like within a meter of it. Uh, like a weird Ooh, angle. You're, you've got the magnetism. Go up. Uh. Up. Okay, what is happening on my screen does not seem to bear any relation to what you are seeing. Well, just trust me, because I'm host. There you go, you're locked. Right. <laughs> uh, oh, you didn't need to turn dampeners off. This is now all one ship. Oh. Yeah. Right. So, I guess we start incorporating Our has grown. this thing somehow. Yeah. Well, we've got a few other projects to do in the meantime, anyway. I am going to clean slash fix your windscreen. There we go. What? Wind it taken damage. Oh. It was missing parts. That's weird. In fact, quite a number of bits in your thing are missing. Like, little bits and pieces. Yeah, probably. <sighs> Alrighty. Um, let's see. Yeah, I need to leave you with a fair bit of time so that you can make this thing something better. And when you don't have to make it so multi-purpose, you might be able to redesign the interior so it has an interior. It's fine. It's kind of not. You've got two random doors that do nothing. Those are load-bearing doors. You've still got a path up to the top, which isn't actually separated from the bottom anymore but it's still there yes there's, there's some weirdness All right are you ready yeah i think i'm damp to you oh dear and away we go oh, oh i forgot i had the couch we're in planetary gravity already yeah i jumped us right to the edge are you sure the agglomeration isn't in the gravity? Yep. Maybe. It's inertial dampness we're still on, though. Hmm. What is that smoking at the front of your ship? There's, there's a lot of things smoking. <laughs> if you were given the time, would you change up how this thing's arranged? Yes. Okay. So I should try and give you that time. Well, every time I try to rearrange things, I get blown up. 
yes, that's why I was thinking we do it after we have shields, because then you shouldn't get blown up. Sure. At least we should have time to jump away and hopefully not die. Man, I thought we'd had enough of Mars. Oh, uh, well, we'll never have enough of Mars, because it's the only place that there's platinum. That's why it's such a nasty place to go. Stupid Martians hogging all the platinums. You do have your shoots set to auto-deploy, right? Yep. And they all have canvas in them? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Had a feeling you might start doing that anyway, just in case. Um... Don't seem to be slowing down. Whoa! <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I think... Oh, phew, you can correct it. <laughs> I was really worried then. How much fuel you got left? 60. Okay, so you should be able to get back up to space. Yeah. But you'll probably need to collect some ice and fill up a little bit anyway, just to make sure. Nicely done, Kavak. Alrighty. I'm not sure if it feels good or bad to be back on the ground. <laughs> if it was different ground, it might feel better. Ooh, I just thought. Oh, that's what we should do. So once we get the shield up on the agglomination, we should jump to the alien planet, find an asteroid to set up a, our base on, and lock it down to the asteroid. Then fit, take its jump drive and fit it to your rover. So your rover can have a jump drive. Um, hmm. I don't think we want to be jumping anywhere until we got a shield on this as well, though. Well, because it'll be able to... Co well, the jump's the thing that protects it. Because you can jump to next to a planet and then just go down to a planet to evade something. Yes. Uh, and we can do that until we collect enough more platinum that it can get a shield as well. Yeah. Because that gets us ridiculously close to our goal. <laughs> Wait, we got a goal? Yeah, we've had a goal the whole time, which was to establish a truck stop, like, refueling depot above the alien planet, where we can go down to the alien planet and collect the uranium from it. Mm, you'd think I'd remember something like that. No, it was, like, over a year ago. It was quite a long time ago. It's 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 two series ago, sort of, because well, it's all of Mars. Space programs don't happen overnight. Yeah, they're, I know. They're long-term investments. I know. What's that big smoking wreck over there? It was that spaceship. Oh, that was one of the ships that you brought down. Um, you are most to the right height. Oh, can you sink down with your suspensions? Because um, it might bring down, bring you down to the right height. Uh. Which one is it? Uh, strength or offset? Either will work. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You can lock. Nice. All right, let's see how much platinum we've got. No fuel. Uh, da, da, oh. Uh, what? Uh, huh. It took it all. Because <laughs> the inventory organizer is still running on the base. Sure. Oops. We have 3,585.35 kilograms of platinum. And... I think I saw some... And... We have 112 field emitters. Uh-huh. Yes. That means we have enough for a shield. Yep, after it's been manufacturing things for three days. I think we're going to be going back for gold. Of course. But, since I still don't have a ship, I could put a little connector on top of yours and we could take this atmospheric miner with us. Since it will still operate on Europa. Sure. So I could collect the gold with it and you can just be the carrier sort of thing. Does that sound alright? For now? Like an aircraft carrier. Quite literally, yes. Ow. What's ow? Um, I just got flung at the ground and motorized. Why? Um, because this, because this new wheel is vicious. Well, I just collected a bunch more ice, so hopefully you'll be able to fuel up a bit more. What do I want to put in your ship? I want platinum. I want thruster components. 
I want reactor components. I want field emitters. Medical components. Super. Ah, oh, we do have enough stuff down here. We've huh? got 1,270 superconductor components we can break down for gold. D wait, don't we need those for the shield? Yeah, but we've already got enough for the shield. Oh. So you know how in movies whenever a car explodes, like there's a big fireball and then like one wheel comes rolling out of it? <laughs> yeah. Have you ever wondered what happens to that wheel? No. Never really crossed my mind. Going off to have adventures all on its own. Defying all the laws of physics and gravity. 93 shield emitters remain. 93? Yep. That's heaps. We're needing 1600 gold ingots. There are 670 available currently. And the one that's breaking them down should make 1700. Sure. Um, silver we've got plenty. And platinum we've got plenty as well. So it just came down to the gold. And time now. Hmm. Just gotta wait. Alright, I've filled all the tanks on the bit of pill. Cool. Yeah, all at 100%. Um, yeah, so those wheels are pretty cool, but I'm not gonna need them until I make a new rover. Unless I replace all the wheels on the bit of pill with... That's what I thought you might do. Those ones, but I, I'll need something to like, lift it up so I can get to all the wheels. Or you can do it in space. Yeah, I guess that's true. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh. Mine. What? What do you mean yours? I'm going for it. What? You can race me to it if you want. <laughs> sure. How far from it are you? I'm far enough that I can see you ahead of me. <laughs> it's gonna be down to who runs out of hydrogen, really. Wait. Don't shoot me! <laughs> I know what your game is. Hey! I shoot back at you. Yeah. Do you even know where I am? Nope. <laughs> I was just spraying bullets wildly backwards. That's unusually close for this, the, uh, the strong signal. It sure is. wonder what I'm gonna get. I mean, you wonder what I'm gonna get. Nope, I wonder what I'm gonna get. Hey, just think about it. When you fit a jump drive to the bit of pill, you'll be able to go after all these. And you'll never see me again. <laughs> that, that's entirely possible. That's alright, though. I think you've kind of, you'll have earned it by that point. Think about how much engineering you've learned in the last year and a half. I can't remember all these things. There's too many things. I wonder how close the ground is to me right now. Closer than you think. It's usually the answer when it comes <laughs> to the ground, in my experience. Agreed. Oh, you jerk! Aha! Uh -huh. How did you beat me here? Uh, skill. What the? What? The? Yeah? Where's the... Oh, I can't get it. Uh-oh. That didn't help. What have you done? Aha! Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, you... Ow! <laughs> How did you beat me here? Uh, because I was flying close to the ground. Oh, so you took a you shot. You were way path. up in the sky. Well, because I, was, I wasn't I was sure I'd have enough, um... ...stuff, uh, enough fuel to last to get me here. Oh, well done. Wait, how were you planning on getting back? Well, that wasn't really a problem if I got it. Use your harpoons and tow cables. Go for the legs, it might be our only chance of stopping them. Why on earth did that come to mind right now? Because I was zooming over the snow when I came up on this big legged windmill. Ah. Right. And now I'm wrapping it up in my tow cable. Ow. Ah, it bit me. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. What? I just got a message on my screen saying I discovered orcs. 
Oh. Um. That would be the death ship that's up there. Oh, no. What? Nobody told me there'd be orcs. Uh, it's coming in pretty fast. Well, let's get that shield up. Alright. I know what to do. Hope that we've got all the gravity components we need, because otherwise we don't have a shield. So Power I'm up. frantically trying to put them in. You're gonna what? I'm gonna go out in a blaze of glory. No, Kavak, don't do that. Why not? Get back here and... Oh, no, wait. Never mind. Do that. Go for it. You go die. It's fine. I knew those Martians would be after my precious minerals. Ha ha! What? Why aren't you on? Holy moly, that thing's huge! Um, why is shield not on? No valid controller. You don't have a shield controller! Oh! Take that, orcs! Is our shield on? Don't know. I'm real far away. I'm trying to get my body back. It's... I think it's shooting the remains of... I think we've got a shield. Oh. Maybe? Ow. What are you doing over there? I went to get my body, but I ran out of hydrogen. Now, the dev ship doesn't seem to be moving much. I think I might have taken out some important systems. I can see fire. Uh, it's moving away. Well, I hit it at the front. What did you hit it with? With the oh, ship. You... Okay, you might have actually taken out some important stuff. I hit it pretty square on the nose. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, that was... That was a smart move. Well played, Kavak. I wish you'd told me what you were doing so I could have watched. I thought it was obvious. No, I thought you were just going in on foot. What? What kind of a ludicrous idea is that? Nobody in their right mind would do anything like that. You're not in your right mind! I mean, this has I, been well established. I did it in space like an hour ago with that drill drone thing, but... Yeah, it just seems to be hovering there. Um, sending us taunting messages. <laughs> yes. When did orcs show up anyway? I didn't get that memo. Well, I'm only 600 meters away from my body. Which is probably going to despawn as soon as I get to it. Did the orc ship shoot at, shoot at you again? No. It's just sort of hovering above me. Oh no, it's got weapons. Oh yeah, it's got lots of guns on it. Turrets and rocket launchers. 250 meters. It is not... It has not got an angle on it that I can approach from. Ah. Uh, Alright, got some of its attention. Oh! I gotta go back to base. I have boarded the orc ship. Good job. I don't think I've quite got your experience at pancaking to avoid it. Uh, autopilot enabled. How can I disable autopilot? Get rid of the remote control. Are we about to add an orc ship to our agglomination? Mm, autopilot still enabled. Um, control stations, thrusters. What did you even get from that unknown signal, by the way? Alright, problem solved. Time to get out! What did you do? What have you done? Capac. Uh, it may be approaching the ground at a high rate of speed. It seems that way. So... No adding to the agglomination then. Not this one. Well, I mean, there might be something left. Oh, it's still shooting at me, though. <laughs> of course it is. Ow. Oh, it's still moving. I'm going back to base. I'm getting my health, and then I'll come see what you're up to. I mean, there's probably some decent stuff to salvage off it. Let's see if I can take it its gyro so it stops moving. See the shield on the bit of pill, but it don't, says it's there. Don't you have to set it to be visible? Yeah, I set it to be visible. Okay, I took out one gyro, but it's still going. 
Oh. Is that you approaching? Yep. Uh. Oh, it's still going? There must be some batteries somewhere. Ah, yep. Batteries. Has the gun stopped? Yep. Alright, I think I took out its power. I think you did too. There is not much of this left. Uh, there's a bunch of reactors. We could get some uraniums. Like this loose uranium on the ground. Yep. Well. Have you got a long walk? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez, this thing comes with decoys. Oh uh, yeah. That's pretty cunning for an orc. Oh, it's got a couple of ion thrusters. We need to get those. It's actually got more than a couple. I should have let it come closer to the base and then dropped it out of the sky. Yeah, probably. Um, you might need to bring the bit of pill over here so that we can loot this thing. Uh... That's as long as you're happy to wait for it. Inventory full. Ah. Give me your GPS. Oh, wait, I can see you. You're around there somewhere, aren't you? Ah! <laughs> you should be able to see my lights on the ground. I can, that's why I knew I wasn't going to shoot you. Rude. Seriously, Capac? Nice work! I'm a military genius. I, I know how to deal with orcs. I'm, I'm not going to go that far, but... That was brilliant. Like, that was genuinely good work. You took that thing down. We're going to get more ion thrusters, which means more platinum. We're going to get a whole bunch of other stuff that we want. And you did it without without us using really any meaningful amount of ammunition. This is true. That was seriously awesome work. But what's worrying me is the shields still aren't turning on. And uh, your guns are on. What the? I turned my guns off. Your medic turrets does not include every single turret you have. Also, why are your thrusters called interior turrets as a group? Um... What? <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm getting a thing on my HUD that says that the shield yeah, is same. Active. I'm gonna try shooting you thing from outside the shield. Yeah, that sounds like go. something you'd do. Check it out! Oh, yep. Yeah. It's there. Uh... Alright, ion thrusters, reactors, expensive stuff. I don't know. I'll, I'll drive around a bit closer. So are we about done here? Can you see anything else of value on it? I think we've got all the good stuff. Yeah, it looks like it to me. Shall we mosey? I still can't see anything. Interception drones engaging. Can you see that? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh. And, an, and a scorpion. Uh, maybe back to base. All right. Right. I was hoping it was something not quite so well protected. And the guns are just shooting the, the orcs. Drive, 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 drive! Can I see anything? No. What if I go out here. Oh, now we. Oh, something crashed. This is a dangerous place to stand. I can't see anything otherwise. Oh, I think you might have blown it up. Whoa! Well, speaking of which... <laughs> Whoa! Well, speaking of which... <laughs> Why, Kevin? Why what? <laughs> Why did you go so fast that that happened? It wasn't that fast. Well. Um. I mean, the guns still work. <laughs> and the shield, fortunately. What? Why did the whole front half of the thing just detonate for no reason? Because you hit the ground! You went over a jump! Your wheels compressed, and you hit the ground. Seemed quite logical from where I was standing. Well, I 
It didn't seem very logical to me. Ah. Well, uh. did you lose your med bay? Oh no, you did. How do you think we can do this so that we can launch? Let's put a seat down. Uh, hmm. <laughs> yes? Yeah, just put a seat down somewhere and we'll see what works and what doesn't. Mars really hates this rover, doesn't it? Yep. Oh yeah, all the thrusters are still good. Um. So... How are you going to do this? Yeah, we'll just launch. Okay, I might do it from this cockpit then. Sure. Alright, go for it, Kabak. Here goes everything that remains of this rover. At least you've still got six wheels. Oh, I hope we don't backflip. <laughs> Yeah, that would be awkward. <laughs> you gonna take off or? Oh, looking good. Are you too heavy? No? No. Oh, your poor bit of pill. Yep. Well, you weren't gonna do a full overhaul. Now you can. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I take it you don't see it that way. Uh, at least it still mostly functions. At least the shield's still intact. If we'd lost the shield, oh. That would have been every... <laughs> oh, that would have been the worst. Yeah, when I said get out of here, I thought you were going to do this and take off. I didn't think you were going to drive hell for leather over the ground. <laughs> well, we needed the, the hill to ramp up off. Do you? I didn't know that you actually did need that. Uh, I thought least, you could use a gyro. At least a shallow one. But we were going like down into a valley. And then we bottomed out at the bottom of it. Hey Capac. Yeah? You're looking slightly red today. Um. Uh, it's in contrast to the orange Martian soil. <laughs> you sure? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I left my socks in with my suit when I washed it again. <laughs> okay. This is a safe enough place, right? Oh. What, what is that? Is it? That's what? Oh, it's gone now. It looked like a ship. Or part of a ship. It vanished. Alright, I'm in the pilot's seat. Oh, wait, I don't want to be in the pilot's seat. I want to exchange the shield across. Uh-oh. What? Drone facility. Okay, maybe I don't just yet. Oh, I'll just start setting it up anyway, because we need to. While you hook up. Hook up as fast as you can. I'm trying to stop. Um, you're moving away from me. It is stationary. What? That doesn't make no sense. Makes sense if you're moving away from me. My dampener's even functioning? Why am I not stopping? Come back! Ooh. <laughs> yes! Why is my ship not stopping? Are your thrusters on? Yes. Have you got... Are they... Are they? They look off. Your directional thrusters look off. Like your reversing thrusters are off. They're all on to me. And they're burning when I try to burn. They don't look like they're burning to me. Uh-oh. What? Um, drones? Um, when you spin around, is there any direction that seems to, that you seem to slow down in? Like, if you have your large thrusters pointing in the direction you're heading, do you slow down? What? If I, if I turn, I just seem to turn in circles. Yeah, you are slowing down, though. Just keep turning until you come to a stop. And then I'll pick you up. But I'd never come to a stop. If you keep turning, you will. Because as far as I can tell, the only thrusters that are working for you are your big ones. Uh, are you meaning to go towards the planet? Uh, 
I was just moving away from the thing. No, you've got the shield! Move towards it! <laughs> yes, but I also can't maneuver. You've got a giant shield and it's a small grid. I think you might have already disabled it too. You mostly stopped now. I am moving at 1.6 meters a second. Can you flip yourself and do the weird things to try and slow you down, yourself down a little bit more? Moving at 1.3 meters. Uh, 0.3 meters a second. Is that in line? I don't know. Uh, yep. What? Lock, lock. I don't, I don't lock. know which connector it is. You've only got the one. Well, why have I got four coming up? Okay, well, it's the one that's not locked. Well, one of the two that's not locked, because you've got my ship on there. But the... Uh, there you go, you're locked. Phew. You added a bunch of connectors on that I didn't even know were there. <laughs> uh, I added one for the mining ship, but then the mining ship has two. Yes. Sorry, I forgot that that would make it confusing. My bad. But you're locked down. Right, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> okay. To the alien planet? Uh, sure. Let's do this thing. Why are we going to the alien planet? Do you see which direction it's in? Um... It's where we could see it from the ground, so we should be able to see it from here. Yeah, but it might be on the other side of the planet. Yeah, but we weren't on the other side of the... Uh oh, light crews are coming in. Wait, is it towards the sun? Maybe we can't see it because it's in the sun. I can't see it that way. Either way I can't see gonna, any other planet. We're gonna have to jump in a second. Yeah, I'm gonna jump away from Mars and see if it's obscuring it. Oh no, more orcs. Yep. Goodbye, orcs. Oh, come back next time. We will try and get your rover repaired again. I guess. Maybe. Can we see the alien planet now? Uh, I see a blue planet. Oh, yep, it's by the sun. See, I told you. Well, I couldn't see it when I looked that way. It may not have been based on our previous position. I am a magnificent astronomer. The gyres of the planetoids are no match for me. Now Splitzy sends us careening headlong into the sun. <laughs> Something like that. How far away do you think it is? Um... I reckon it's a few... I reckon it's probably going to be like... 200,000 kilometers. I... Yeah, I reckon it's going to be like 2,500-ish. Something like that. Uh, there's a cruiser coming in. What? Damn orcs. Ugh. Now, jump drive isn't charged. Five kilometers. How long until our jump drive's charged? Fully recharged in 18 seconds. Plus uh, the 10 seconds for the jump. Should be enough. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh man, why is it so busy up here? Space <laughs> is meant to be empty. It's Mars. It's Martian space. It's bad. Hopefully it's better by the alien planet? Damn Martians. Maybe? Yeah, that doesn't sound realistic. Alright, you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Blow this popsicle stand. Well, the light cruiser is three kilometers away. Oh jeez, that thing is huge! Goodbye. What, what is that thing? I can see the cruiser! Oh. Yep. Goodbye, Mars. Hopefully what? we don't need to be back soon. We're still nowhere near the alien planet. Well, look where Mars is now. We've gone a few hundred kilometers. 500 k's. It's not too bad. Oh, Mr. Red Suit. What are you talking about, Red Suit? You're in a red suit. Let's go check red. in the med bay. Go down. Maybe you need to see an optometrist. Go down and check in the med bay. It's I orange. Bet. No, it's I... just the lighting in here. It's kind of yellow. It's throwing off the, the <laughs> That's yeah, how colors it look. More red, is it? Yeah. The yellow. Yeah. Right. That's how colors work. <laughs> why are we both standing here with our welders? Also, why are you? Oh, see, it's because... Okay, I figured it out. See, these aren't RGB lights. They're CMYK lights. So instead of adding, you got to subtract. 
Uh... Right. Well, next time you've got to fix your repairs to your rover. I've got to do something to this thing to try and get the shield off your thing without everything falling into space. Because that's probably going to happen when we try to grind down that shield emitter. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And hopefully Capac will be in orange next time. And we will see you then. This is orange. It's not orange. It's dark red. It's dark orange reddish color. It's not your usual orange. It's the wrong orange. Guaranteed that is not 15 degrees. I want some orange juice. Last thing we'd want to do is get like halfway back and then get exploded. A number of people were curious whether it had survived. So I managed to use the admin tools and I've checked. There is a fragment of the chomper that remains that we might be able to recover and take to the moon to put into the museum. Mm. This is what remains of the chomper is not much. Oh.